Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, so I was looking and I was saw that I have hit about a little bit over a month doing YouTube channel, or doing YouTube channel, doing YouTube videos, and I'm so excited, like, yes. So I decided for today's video, even though it's only been a month, I have already tried so many products, like, Oh, so many products. So I decided to recreate my first video, which was refreshing your curls. Um, I actually have a whole, in a month span, a little bit over a month, I've came up with a whole new way to refresh my curls that I actually use now. I don't even do it my old way anyway, even though there's nothing wrong with that way. But this way saves me time, product, and my curls last a little bit longer. So yes, I decided to do an updated video on that, show you guys what I do to achieve curls after they have been slept on and all of that and they just need a little bit of, a little extra extra. Um, <clears throat> I do wanna thank you guys for coming in and watching the video and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into it. All right. So let's just get into this. So I used two products to do this. Um, I used two that I've never used before. I used them because I thought it would be fun to actually try out new products as well as using them to refresh without any water. Um, I used the Cantu Comeback Curl um, Next Day Curl Revitalizer and I used the Camille Rose Naturals Fresh Curl Revitalizing Hair Smoother. So these two, I got them both at Target. Um, this one, this was like $4.99, $5.99. This I want to say was like maybe $13.99. Um, so they're not totally, whoa, too much. Uh, I like them both. I actually did this yesterday. I decided I wanted to try it before I made a video on it just to see how the curls lasted throughout the day. Um, and they did really well. Like um, a lot of the times when I use water to refresh my curl, even though I put product back into it, I find myself having to <clears throat> use a use like this, the coconut oil shine and mist hold um, throughout the day to make sure my curls don't frizz out. Yesterday what I found was when I did this with just the two products without the water that there was enough product in my hair to keep my curls together without being overbearing. And it also just made it where I didn't have to worry about my hair all day. Like it's always, it's my bangs. My bangs get me every, almost every day. They look great when they're a little bit damp and then they start to dry and then they start to frizz and then all of a sudden I have alfalfa bangs. And I, I it only takes me one time, I'll go, I'll spritz my hair, they'll go down, they stay and it's whatever. But the fact that I even have to do that after spending 30 minutes or so on my hair in the morning is just, Ugh. So yesterday, I didn't have to do that. I didn't have to do any of that. And I was actually in a rush when I did this. So, and it still came out great. My curls were great. The only thing that I found that I was kind of just like, mm, was my curls were a little bit heavier because I think it's just because I put product in there um, and I didn't rinse any of the other product out with my water. So this actually will cause, or will have you using less product, which will save you money, which, you know, always good things. So now that I'm done talking everybody's heads off, let's do this. So this is my hair when I wake up in the morning. Um, when I go to bed at night, I put it in a top bun. It's the only way I can sleep with my hair. I'm gonna start trying to do it with a bonnet just because I think that bonnets are really good at keeping the curl, um, pattern together so that when you wake up it's even easier and I like easy things for my hair sorry I like to do easy things with my hair so you know but like I said I can still like obviously I feel the product in my hair from yesterday so I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of product throughout my hair so I'm gonna start off before I put this in I'm gonna use the Cantu and I'm just gonna spray it out now like I said, this wasn't so expensive, but I, now that I have my new spray bottle that does a little bit different type of spray, ones like this kind of annoy me, just because I feel like you have to use a whole bunch for just a little, a little section, you know? So I'm just gonna go through, get it through, then I'm literally just gonna take like that much, like a dime amount. It's kind of gross looking. It's not the most <laughs> pretty color. 
but they both smell really good so those are positives and I love I love both of these companies which is why I like I really like mixing their products um, when I feel one is lacking I can find another product in the other one that picks up whatever that other one is lacking so these are probably two of my favorite companies to mix and match with just because I just love their stuff they're really good and it always smells pretty well almost everything always smells pretty good so I'm not even mad oh this is the part you guys it's just a spray bottle which it's not horrible it's it's not it's a regular spray bottle but it's like I feel like I just have to use so much and then it sprays it in like one spot so like a part of my hair will get really good and then the other part not so much so I don't know I don't know okay I think that's good can't really see it when I do it on this camera it's like it makes my hair a little bit darker so it's harder to see the curl pattern Let's see if it's coming together or not so then I'm just gonna take a little little amount that looks kind of like snot I'm not even gonna lie it looks pretty gross it's not it's gross it's gross <laughs> uh, I mean I have to like put it on my hand and everything then I really see Okay, so I'm going to, I just wanted to show you guys my two sections right now. I will be right back. Um, I'm not going to be blow drying my hair, so when I come back, it is going to be a little bit damp just from the product. So I'm going to finish putting it through my hair and see how it comes out next. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. I have the product all through my hair. As you can see, it's all there. Um, it takes so much less time for me to just put this product through without having to do the water, do the product, do the water, do the product, do the water, do the product. God forbid there's more than one product, then I have to do the water, do the product, do the other product. This is literally my water is the product. So it takes a lot less time and I, I'm telling you guys, I'm not saying that sometimes, um, you know, a little spritz of water in a section that maybe my hair, if my hair comes out of the bun when I'm sleeping, then yeah, I definitely am probably going to use some water because my curls will be out of control. But there's also things that you can mix in with your water that I was looking at, like aloe verde and stuff like that, where you can just mix those into your water that you're using to spritz into your hair. And it actually helps with, you know, the frizzing and everything because though water is great, in my hair and with everything that I'm doing with it, with the videos, with the products and everything else, I'm finding that using water like that is frizzing my hair out, especially when there's no additives into the water. So water is great, don't get me wrong, I would never knock water, ever, ever, ever. I'm just saying that I am finding for my hair that if I just use plain water to try to style it or get my curls back, instead of helping my hair, it actually will frizz it out. So I highly suggest adding aloe verde or aloe verde or anything else or just something into the water to help put some moisture, some protein, something into the hair just so it helps with the frizzing. But I'm going to let my hair dry and then I will be back to wrap up the video and call it a day. Alright, so it is dry. I am currently puffing it out. Also, another good trick on this is not to puff out your unless you have like a whole routine I'm not saying break your routine but using less of the puffing on the bangs I've learned keeps my bangs at bay so yes but I'm just going through getting all the volume in the world right now or at least trying to but like I said it's a different texture now my curls definitely I'm telling you guys like I wish so I'm happy I did my first refresher video, but I wish I would have known the routine that I use now when I did that one. But I guess that's just personal growth when it comes with to hair. I've literally, I've been using so many different products and it's because of this YouTube channel. Like I want to be able to tell people when they ask me, hey, what do you use for this and this and this? Like give them honest answers and know what I'm talking about and can compare it to other products. So I love it. I love using new products and these two products 
I am letting you ladies, gentlemen, everyone know that they are great together. Um, I have not used them separately, so I like I haven't used this with a gel base yet. And I have not used this with anything else except for that. But together, together, come on now, together, together, they're doing it. <laughs> But yes, so I want to thank everyone for taking your time out of your day watching the video. I hope that this helped you. Am I saying you need to have these two products? Totally not. Um, you can use just, I would use something conditioning towards the hair just to bring back any moisture, anything that the hair, the curls may lack from the day before, especially sleeping on them. Um, and then I would use something that may have the water base, but just something added into it just to give it that extra oomph, you know? Um... But yes, so I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.